Welcome back everyone to the Weekly Flare Podcast. If you're just joining us, welcome. If you've been watching live with us on Meerkat or Periscope, hello. Or should you go like this on site? Hello. You watch Psych, right? You never watched Psych? No, I, I, you never made me. Well, Psych is really good. You should watch it. Anyways, we just want to give a quick shout out to everyone watching us on Meerkat and Periscope. We've got Susie said, oh yeah, cool, thumb, thumb, thumb. And there's another icon that I'm guessing is a new emoji that Andrew doesn't have supported yet. And then we had um, David, Dorian, Ross restream this and liked it. And Nas chart. That's Joe Hart. Inc. Oh, Joe he, Hart. He okay. keeps showing up. He said, what's up, and followed, and restreamed, and liked. So we just want to say hey to all of them, everyone on Periscope, if you're there, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for still being here. If you don't watch live, you should do that, or you should go to um, theweeklyflare.com and find our YouTube and iTunes links, or RSS feed links, or Stitcher. We're everywhere. Now, if you're just joining us before the break, no, during the break, we're talking about Chris's Keepers of the Pizza shirt. And apparently, if you're watching on Meerkat and Periscope, it's backwards. Because we use the front-facing cameras on my old phone and my iPod. Uh, Chris, yes. did I tell you that I started making pizza dough? Really? Yeah, I've been making pizza dough for like a couple weeks now. Is it more healthy? Uh, no, I mean, it's just, it's still flour and meat, okay. but uh, it, it's delicious. It is. Oh yeah, I like make my own dough and... Then it crispy, deep no, dish? No, no, it's like thick, like hand toss. Ooh. It's like, it's a thicker than Domino's hand toss, but it's not too thick. Uh, it's not like deep dish. It's like Papa John's. Uh, no, Domino's pizza is thicker than Papa John's. Pizza Hut. Uh, no, it's like homemade. It's delicious. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, you sure made me think of that. And I was going to tell you, I thought, oh, I'll tell all of our friends on the internet as that, well. That story reminds me of the mile-long pizza that they made in Italy. That, no, it's not a mile-long, it was a round, you know, okay. almost just pizza. <laughs> but, um, I found the recipe for my pizza on the internet. Really? I got, I was driving home from work uh, a couple weeks ago when Rachel was out of town, and I was like, I'm going to make pizza tonight. I searched for pizza dough. And the first recipe that came up was like, ah, oh, that looks good. Went and bought the rest of all the ingredients, mixed it up, it came out delicious. Were you like spinning it in the air? No, I don't quite have the spin in the air thing down yet because um, that's hard. And I didn't want to do that and then like... Ruin it, punch a hole through it. You know, I, I've got stuck somewhere and work up to it. But anyway, so it's pretty good. Um, but technology, I found the recipe all in a couple clicks, thanks to our dear friend, technology. So if you listen to the first half of the show, I kind of tease what I want to talk about the second half of the show. And Chris, uh, I want to talk about how technology has kind of redefined our lives. Yeah. And I was all excited about because it, it was episode 42, which is like, you know, the meaning of life joke from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I think this is going to be great. No one's done this this week. And then I got home and I was just like reading through my Google Now feed. Mm -hmm. Like it just like curated stories like what things I've searched before. And I found two different articles. One of them was like how like all the things our smartphones replaced. And then the other one was like why people are addicted to their smartphones. So one of them was like a positive piece. And one of them was like kind of a negative mm -hmm. opinion. Not a negative, but it was more of like an opinion piece about like, well, people need to. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like you need to back off. It was more the science of why people are addicted to their smartphone. But Chris, you, there's so many things that technology, like smartphones particularly, have replaced. Yes. I think about it. Do you have an alarm clock in your bedroom? No. No. Why? I have my Because you use your phone. Like if you have your night, you have this whole nightstand, and um, apparently we're upside down. Mary Mondi, are you sure you're not upside down? Turn your phone around. I don't know. It could be upside down for us. I know it's going to be mirrored because of the front facing camera. Technology. Sometimes it just doesn't work right. <laughs> Thank well, you for retweeting and streaming. We're upside down like in, on our first page. Like, oh, I'm upside yeah, down on the on the, on the face. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. I yeah. am upside down there. You're right. Um, but yeah, you don't have an alarm clock anymore because no. why? You just use your you cell just phone. Use your cell phone. Do you write letters? Uh, I occasionally I'll like mail something, but I haven't written a handwritten letter. Though. I usually even type it up and print it off if I need exactly. to type a letter. Like I never handwrite mm -hmm. a letter. Uh, just why? I don't know. There's no reason to. Chris, think about that. Do you wear a watch? 
No. no. Why? You don't need to. I have my Your phone, phone tells you what time it is. Exactly. Like, even if you're like at Chili's, you know, where you like gotta know what time it is and there's no clocks everywhere, you just have your phone. Or like if you're out and about, you have your phone. Or it's just. It's more convenient. Think about it. You, you don't need a stopwatch anymore because your phone can do that. Mm -hmm. You don't need to carry, well, CDs already had made carrying music easier, which tapes had made easier, which. But think before that, the only way to listen to music was. You know, if you had a record, record player, player and music. then before that, the only way you could listen to music was if it was live. Exactly. So you go from live to record to eight track. Yeah. Eight track tapes, to cassette tape, cassette tape to, to CD CDs, to digital. To MP3s. MP3s. I mean, we skipped some in between steps in there. But, but those things didn't last. Very those long. were like the big, the milestones, yes. let's say. Mm -hmm. So now you can carry. Now you think about it, even your iPod. Your phone's replaced your iPod now. Yes. You know how many people don't have like a, an mp3 player anymore they I just use their phone they don't carry around a cd player a walkman they just use their phone exactly now i carry around an ipod still because i have it sync all my podcasts i listen mm -hmm. to every day but even today i've seen i work listening to podcasts like you know what i listen to music i pulled out my phone went online started listening to slacker radio just instant online radio it's replaced the radio it's replaced the radio it's replaced the radio it's fixed now thank you it thank you for the updates Yes. Um, yeah, it's replaced the radio thing. But think about right now. All these people, the only way they could see us live is if we were on a TV network. Yes. And now they can just pop up onto their phone, go to Meerkat or Periscope, mm -hmm. and boom, they can see us live. Right now, only time delayed by the latency in the internet. Mm -hmm. And they can see us right now, what we're talking yes. about, what we're doing. They can read your shirt. Yep. They can read backwards, backwards. because we're mirrored. Cameras, cameras, uh, video player cameras. You don't, you don't carry your big magna box around anymore. No. Your digital camera, unless you're old. Unless you're like old school or a photographer, you just use your phone for everything. Exactly. Um, notes, uh, Excel's. Yeah. Notes. They, they started doing some stuff with Excel. Weather. You don't have to watch the news anymore. Right. Everything. Maps. Is GPS's. like just in the palm of your hand. Calendars. You don't have calendars. Right. Anymore. Calendars. Calculator. Uh. uh Palm Pilots. Yeah, so remember um, when Blackberries were really big? Yes. And like all the executives had their Blackberry. Yes. And like everyone was like, oh man, they're all, all the big wigs are addicted to their Blackberries. And it was kind of a joke because like, we were like, why would you ever need to constantly be checking your email or constantly be, you know, doing work related things, right? Mm -hmm. Well, now look at all of us are here constantly looking at our smartphones all the time. I mean, you could be walking through the mall or anywhere that there's a big group of people and you can just point out everyone's on their phones, phone, 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 phone. We're at Disney, okay, we're at Disney World, right? And there's everywhere you go, people are on their phones, texting, taking pictures, uploading things to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, they're telling their friends where they are, they're taking selfies at the Magic Kingdom. It's just everything has changed. Has changed. Everything has changed. It's, it's like iPhone said with the success, the only thing that's changed is everything. It's even it's changed true. dating. But yeah, you can go to Tinder and just swipe left or right. Like that, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. You can just be like, eh, not interested. Not interested. Interested. And it, it will only tell you once people have also swiped on you. Exactly. It's, I mean, like, it's made life easier and yet it's made life kind of more complicated at the same time. Because now all your information is just floating around out there. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy. But Chris, that's what the me, the digital life now, it's about being always connected. All the information at your fingertips, always there. And it's still the meaning of life. It's yes. still 42. That was the same number, right? It was 42. Yeah, 42. Yeah. Did you see Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? I did. Rachel won't watch it with me. Why not? She saw the beginning of it and couldn't get past the dolphins flying out into space. And was like, I'm done with this. I didn't think about it, but I should have customized my jersey and put 42 on the back of it and then put life as my mm -hmm. name. That would, be, that would have been great. I should have. That would have been good. I never think about it. My softball, my, my jersey number is 13. Um, I've been number 13 on in my softball team two years in a row now. And uh, I guess it's lucky. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Our team was net, we've, our team's done terrible because we like don't practice during the off season. So whatever. But uh it's fun. But 42 would be a good number as well. Yes. But, yeah. So, Chris, that's the meaning of okay. digital life. Being connected and having information 
always available 24 mm-hmm. 7. What do you think? I can agree. Do you agree? Yes. Agreed. Cool. So, Chris, what do you got going on this week? Uh, hopefully, starting the job, I'm working a little bit this weekend. Uh, I plan to. My, my biggest thing right now is trying to get through school. And my other thing is to find a video game that you and I can play that we will both enjoy, which will be Battlefront. Okay. You, no, what you need to do is you have PlayStation Plus now, right? Yes. Did you download any of the free games? I, no, I haven't. You, you got Magicka 2. It's like free. It's like a co op game. Okay. You can play that. Um, I think that was the only co op one that was for PS4 this month. I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, go get those free games. There's gotcha. lots of cool stuff in there. Um, but otherwise, we can play Battlefield 4 right now until Battlefront comes out. Gotcha. Did you redownload it? I did. It's all updated, ready to go. Awesome. So we'll have to do that sometime. Also, everyone out there in um, internet land, if you're playing Star Wars Battlefront on PS4, we we want in on that because we're going to be playing also. So you'll so, get it first. I'll get it a week or so two. So give later. us give us the tweets of your uh, PlayStation names, and uh, we'll get on there and we'll we'll crush the empire together. Yep. Are they rebelling? Whatever you know, whichever side you're into. I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to play some Star Wars. Um. So yeah, Chris. Yes. If the lovely people of the internet and the not so lovely would like to follow you online, where could they do so? That's Twitter at Never Lose Heart. That is all one word. You can follow me right there. You can go onto our website at weeklyplayer.com. You can check out, make sure that you get it right. You can look at our bios and, and hook us up right there. Or you could rewind to the beginning of the video where it appeared in the bottom of the screen. Right here. And my lovely lower thirds that I created that will kind of not so good anymore. I need to update them. Mm-hmm. You can of course find me on Twitter at James Walter. You'll mostly be seeing pictures of me making pizza and playing video games probably. That's uh, what I do. I make pizza and play video games. I'm like an Italian plumber. That was a Mario joke. I'm not an gotcha. Italian or a plumber. Okay, that was a terrible joke. I apologize internet. Anyways, of course you can find The Weekly Flare. Just go to theweeklyflare.com. You can find our podcast there, our blog there that needs to be blogged on. You can find our YouTube links, our iTunes links, our RSS feed links, our Stitcher links. Chris, also good news. Our podcast has been approved to be on Google Play Podcast. Nice. Bad news. Podcasts aren't going to be available on there until 2016. But we're all set up and ready to go. So once it hits, boom, you can find us on your Google Play uh, podcast app, however they integrate that. We're ready to go. All you got to do now is wait. But of course, if you're hearing this right now, you already found a way to listen to Mm -hmm. us. So that will mostly just be a convenience factor for you if you prefer to get it that way. I personally think you should go to theweeklyflare.com and click all those links so we know that you're, you know, out there. Of course, downloading it lets us know too where you're downloading it from. So really... Just do whatever is best for you and uh, have a good life. And then we'll see you again every week. Yeah. Because we do it every week. We, well, we missed to. one week. Which was a surprise. We missed one week. Which and that surprise. was my fault because I had to work at like 9 o'clock. I missed one myself. Yeah, but we... Oh, yeah, you, you did. You did a, we still did an episode that week. Yes. Though. It was like a mini episode. Uh, we might miss one at the end of December. It just depends on if we're able to pre-record it or not. Because gotcha. I'll be out of town. Gotcha. You see how... Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, you take your coins to your bank, huh? Yeah, I take all my coins on the airplane with me. They love it when you do that. You have to take some out because yeah, we'll wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I carry them all on, so I have to go through the metal detector. <laughs> and it's just a big hassle. I should just melt them, really. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is the Weekly Flare. We hope you had a wonderful time with us. If you did, we'll see you again next week. If you didn't, we'll still hope to see you again next week because, honestly... We just love hanging out with you guys. Yep. We do. It's true. That's why we're here, mostly to hang out with you guys. So send us some feedback, you know? Shoot us an email, a tweet. I feel like I'm begging for their feedback, but I'm really not. Yeah. I just want them to know that, like, we're here to hang out, you yeah. know? If something interesting happens you want to talk about on the show, like, just let us know, mm-hmm. you know? We're here to hang out with you guys and interact, you know? So let's, let's do that. Anyways, we'll see you guys again in seven days. Peace.